and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how i created my pink wonderland theme on my samsung android phone a little while back i showed you how i created like a full theme on my phone and i thought for today's video i'm going to show you how i created like a pink wonderland theme and it's really easy and i'm going to show you all of the apps i use for it theme what kind of widgets so that's what i'm going to do today if you're new here on my channel i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmaris turkey and i make a lot of beauty related videos vlogs lifestyle if you like those videos make sure you subscribe and you can also follow me on instagram and now let's get started with the video so first i want to show you my phone i've got the samsung a7 from 2018 i believe and it's rose gold as you can see really pretty color and i absolutely love the camera so yes this is the phone i'm using and the case i have is stay positive in a really light pink shade and i think it goes really well with the theme i have going on on my phone so yeah that's how it looks so on my home page i have this really cute a nutcracker this wallpaper i got from uh, daphne designs and i will link her instagram down below and uh, she made all of the wallpapers that i'm using so i think it is super cute and then when you open my phone you see another really cute wallpaper you can see it here a bit better and it's again from daphne so yeah i will link her instagram down below i will first show you the theme i have going on it is all pink as you can see and you can do that really easy if you press your screen with uh, themes so in the galaxy theme app i've got this one right here this theme I downloaded. I don't use the wallpaper, but I just use it for the pink theme right here. So um, if I can, I will link it down below so you can download it as well if you like. And in the Galaxy theme app, you have so much uh, themes going on. And I just always look for like simple aesthetic. And then I look to the free ones. So yes, you have a lot to choose from. But I love a pink one. Then as you can see I've got three widgets on my home screen. This one is from Samsung. And these two I customize uh, myself. If you want to add widgets again you press your home screen. And you go to widgets. Then you can get a lot of free ones from Samsung itself. But if you want customized ones like these two. You can download a special app. And the app I use for customized uh, widgets is this one right here. You can do that really easy and I will show you now how. So when you download the app, you just choose one of these widgets. Then you click on it. And hi, there I am. <laughs> and then you can choose a lot of different widgets. And you can add like different backgrounds. So um, that's how I did that. So I will just remove this one right now. So this picture I got from Pinterest. And uh, you can find it on my Pinterest board. I got a lot of beautiful wallpapers on there. And I think it goes really well with the theme. And then down here I've got a psalm. And I like like a quote or psalm. And then here I just got the time and the weather here in Marmaris. And this is just from Samsung itself. So you can find that again by widgets. And then on my home screen again I have like a pictogram I believe it's called. And I will show you which one I got. So you go again to the theme store from Galaxy. Yeah, pictogram i'm not sure how you call it in english but i've got fly bear which is a really simple one and i like that because there's always there's already a lot going on in the background so i like a really simple one so that's the one you see here and on my home page i've got all of the apps that i use daily and i find it just really easy to have them on here so i have instagram whatsapp and facebook messenger all in the top then i have here camera and the gallery the weather then i have here youtube my youtube studio app play store my bible and uh, google chrome and down here i've got like my messages and like 
uh, for calling and all of that. Then when you go here, I've got all little maps. Again, you can change the color really easy if you click on the map and you look right here. You go to here, the color, and then you can choose like a lot of different colors. So that's how I did that. And then I will show you quickly all the apps I use. So here I have Microsoft apps and I'm not really using them. Then I've got my Google apps right here, like your Chrome, Gmail, Maps, all of that I've got in this little Google map. Then I have here my Samsung. Again, I'm not really using them too much. Yeah, of course my Galaxy store and I just added the Turk sale menu, which is a um, little menu from Turkey here. Then I've got all of my social media right here. Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, Pinterest, YouTube Studio and TikTok. Then I have photo edit. So these apps I use to edit like my thumbnails and my Instagram pictures. So Pixlr, Unfold, Snapseed, Glitter Photo, Canva, Power Director, Lightroom, PicMonkey and Camera Connect. Snapseed and Lightroom I use for my Instagram pictures and to edit my um, thumbnails I use PicMonkey and Canva. Then I have here a little heart and this is a map with all random things. I've got a Duolingo, the Bible app, MeFit from my Fitbit, uh, a to-do list, a really easy app where you can make like lists like um, for grocery shopping and I find that really easy. Then I am obsessed with Among Us. I like to play this together with my sister. So I really discovered that game. And then the app I showed you before to make like all of the widgets. Um, so yeah, that's I have in this little map. Then I have a little map shopping and I don't shop a lot online, but I got AliExpress, Trendjo, which is a um, web shop here in Turkey and Shein. Then I've got a little map TV. And here I have got Netflix and NPO. NPO is a Dutch app where I can watch like Dutch television and of course Netflix. And yeah, I'm obsessed with that. And then here I've got just all of the Samsung apps like phone contacts, messages, uh, camera, all of that. So I have it all right here and I find it more easy to not put them in maps so I can just access them really quickly and all of the other things are nice and organized. So yes, this is how my phone looks right now and I love the theme. It's like a pink wonderland. And yeah, let me know what you think of it. And let me know what theme you have going on right now. Do you change it with the season or do you just like a really simple um, aesthetic? Just let me know in the comments down below. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give the huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!